So I'm Cody Brocious. So Hacker 101 is all of our education materials. The origin of it was actually a startup that I created called Breaker 101. It was acquired by uh, Hacker One and turned into a free course. Just something that everyone could go into and learn how to hack. So we have videos, CTFs, as well as our in-person education that we do at our live events for our mentorship and community days. Meeting up with all these amazing hackers over the last almost two years that I've been at Hacker One has been just fantastic. As these hackers have grown, they've brought in more and more people. And now I'm seeing all these people that started off on the materials that I created really coming into their own and finding amazing bugs. And more importantly than that, they're helping other people in the community. They're, they're helping to build this stuff out and, and really make it better for everyone. And that's, that's all I could ask for. Um, it was either kindergarten or first grade, there was an Apple IIe sitting in my classroom and I discovered a book on BASIC in the library and just started writing code and kind of discovered the world of hacking um, online games when I was 12 or so. It kind of took, took over my life. Uh, I didn't care about hanging out with friends much unless they were also hacking with me. The Hacker Manifesto was written back in 86, I think. It was one guy, the mentor, he goes by, um, talking about how he grew up um, in a town, I think it was in Texas, that he felt like every bit of his life was, was kind of out of his control. And he wrote this down in a way that, that really inspired me. Um, and when I discovered this, I think in junior high, it, it changed me. It, it made me realize that I wasn't the only person that felt like this, that I wasn't alone. And it made me feel like there was hope, um, which is not something that I got a whole lot of in rural Pennsylvania. The Hardware Hacker Manifesto is something that I wrote uh, just about 10 years ago now. Um, I was hacking a uh, brain-computer interface, so um, an EEG device that you, know, you would wear on your head. It would allow you to control games with your mind. It was very primitive for what it was, but it didn't have to be. Uh, the hardware actually allowed you access to all this raw data, but you had to pay something like three or five grand to get access to this device that you already owned. And I thought that was ridiculous. I spent a weekend, I hacked this thing, and with a $300 device, you could start controlling anything that you wanted. We had people reaching out saying, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm in a wheelchair, I'm paralyzed. This is a thing that will actually help me have a better experience in life without you know, spending 10, 20, 30 grand on devices that existed commercially. And it was really just about unlocking the things that you already owned. Uh, and the company came out calling me a pirate uh, for using, using the hardware the way that I wanted to use it. And I thought that was absolutely ridiculous. So I ended up writing the Hardware Hacker Manifesto as, you know, paying homage to the original Hacker Manifesto, but, you know, really just speaking out for the right to do with your hardware what you want. Being asked to hack on this hardware is really incredible to me. Being given that unfettered access to just go and have fun with it. That to me is, is the key to all this. You know, I don't hack because of the money, though I love the money. Um, I hack because I'm curious. And when I get down that rabbit hole and I'm, you know, three days in with limited sleep and I, I've, you know, I've picked this thing clean, that's when I'm happiest, you know. I, I, I wanna know as much as I can about these devices and being asked to do that and being given permission and all this access and being sent devices and being paid for the things that I find, that just makes me so happy and so hopeful for the future of, of security in general. The biggest advice that I can give to any hacker is figure out what you like to do, figure out what catches your interest and do it. If you go just for the things that you're interested in, you'll find better bugs, you'll find deeper bugs, you'll make more money, you'll have more fun with it, and, and you're not gonna have as much a chance of burning out. Burnout is a thing that is not talked about enough in the hacking community. Frankly, it's something that affects a lot of us, and if you, if you focus on only the things that really engage you and get you going down that rabbit hole, you're gonna be a lot less likely to burn out. Thank you.